So the workouts for January of 2022 are progressing along. Feels pretty good right now. Pain-free, injury-free for the most part. There might be some type of placebo effect or something going on where it seems like the lifts are going really well. The uh, weight seems to just keep adding on the stacks. And granted, these are for just accessory movements, assistance, exercises, just the minor stuff, not the big three lifts. But it feels like there's some, maybe, I, I consider it maybe minute, but some muscle growth and some sh strength increase in those smaller lifts. Anyways, if it's going good, just roll with it. You don't have to make any crazy adjustments just keep keep up with the routine and push forward when I can So I'm getting the mail and there's a letter from the Association of Fish and Wildlife Agencies. And when I look at the back of the letter, there's a little window to preview what's inside. And it looks like there's a $1 bill there. And I'm thinking this has to be maybe just some type of fake thing or a novelty thing. But I look at the letter and read it. It says... It's inviting me to participate in a survey of whether I participate in outdoor activities. And the reward for doing the survey is $5. At the end of the letter, it says, here is a $1 bill as a thank you. And I inspect the bill closely. Sure enough, it looks and feels like a legitimate one dollar bill so I, was, I am taken aback at the thought of just receiving cash in the mail thinking when has when does that ever happen it's something that probably would occur maybe less than once in a blue moon but sure enough there it is so a nice little surprise a token Pretty cool. It's pretty interesting, actually. This is a grocery haul from Walmart, totaling about just over fifty dollars. And I tried to extend the items to last a week, and some items maybe two weeks. I try to cut down expenses where I can, finding the best price through various grocery stores. And so it leads me to rotate between three main places to get groceries. And so I get some items at one place, but not at another because it has a better price at that one, at the first place. One thing I noticed when I was leaving, on the receipt, I was charged for one extra of this and one less of this. Now all of the items are all pretty much the same. The same item, same size, 2.6 ounces, each pouch, only different flavors. For some reason this tomato basil one is 98 cents and these are only 92 each. So this is, this is 6 cents extra and since I was charged for one extra of this, even though I only have three, I was charged for four. That means I paid an extra 6 cents unnecessarily. And this one I was charged for two, but I, I got three. So it should have been three, 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 but I, it was rang up as four, three, two. One thing that it, that affects is the inventory. Now for a store like Walmart where the, the amounts of items and the quantities 
of each item are vast or or large in number it maybe it's just a small minute thing it may not even matter in the big scheme of things now from my previous experience working at a smaller retail store managing the inventory it's a smaller on in that situation it was a smaller scale so these errors at the point of sale can kind of screw up all the hard work to ma maintain accurate inventories of items and when you like keep like one or two or three items of of one item and it says the inventory is there but you look on the shelf and it's not there that can be kind of a headache to kind of number one have the product to sell but also to maintain the accurate inventories so you know what is in the store at that exact moment but fortunately I was able when in those situations with the cashier errors I was able to pinpoint it and uh, make the corrections because it was a smaller scale so it wasn't dealing with large amounts of inventory like Walmart just something that I had noticed and it's just an easy uh, it's so easy to just accidentally scan one item because the laser is there and then you may slide the barcode over but it may end up getting the other barcode and that screws everything up but it's just a small thing six cents whatever but uh, just the, 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 the I guess the principle of you know, getting what you paid for exactly what you paid for but also uh, from the store side maintaining the accurate inventory so you know what is in the store at that exact moment. Here's an example meal. I have my big rice bowl which is kind of like the idea of the big salad from Seinfeld except it's just a rice bowl and the contents the rice uh, these are the protein sources chicken nuggets and there's some kale in there and avocado I like to rotate the the vegetables and the protein source so um, one week it may be chicken nuggets the other week may be uh, chicken breast um, and the vegetables it may rotate between kale spinach and some type of vegetable medley or some type of mix depending on which grocery store I use they have different packages, different prices, and different options for vegetables, protein source. But the staples are the rice and uh, one whole avocado. On the side, I have cottage cheese, blueberry yogurt, sweet potato, and lemon pepper tuna.